Hello everyone, welcome back to more Last Play, Last Nazal of Minishcap. This is the finale, people. I think it's the rest of your door, I will face the final boss in the game, more or less. That's it going. <laughs> ha ha ha! You are persistent, aren't you? Hehehehe. <laughs> so you've come to stop by the old ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more times with the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious Princess Zelda with nothing more than cold, dead stone. There's no time, come quickly LDP, to the roof! Now here, you want to save as much health as you can. So, whatever you do, try not to lose as much uh, too much health. Did you hear that LDP? Hurry, there are only two more times left. Alright, let's get coding or set. We'll get rid of these guys, because they're... They'll, they'll, get, they'll get in the way. Let's just get coding ourselves, and... One, two, three, four! And oh, I should have just stayed back or something now. What day? Thank you. Here I, I like to show off the uh, great spin attack. I did not. There you go. That's pretty cool, I must say. Here is the hardest room possibly in the game, probably because this room can basically be the life or death of you. Anyways, and their bells told. Just one more time, and all our heart. Uh, just one more time, and all our work will have been for naught. Here we have to face three dark nuts. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to beat these here guys. So you know, because there's a lot of methods, you know. And I've been trying to use my Pegasus method, but it has not been working out very well for me. Some people are saying bombs work. That don't work for me. Uh, I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to get the great spin method to them, which is not doing too bad. Okay, I beat, I beat one. That's good. That's good. This is not too. This is not too bad. I'm not saying healthy. This is going. This is going well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Great, great spin. Definitely re recommend beating these guys. Oh, oh, jeez! I almost got hit. Come on. No, hit them. Hit that black one. Oh. Seriously? As long as I get rid of one of them, I'll be happy. That's good. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. This is it, people. We've done it. Yes! I beat all the dogs from the. I don't have any health. It's like, it like a personal best, so it is. Up the stairs. Up the stairs, Link. Because last time I. Beat those darkness and I lost like too much health and I basically died and the boss did it, so yeah. Anyways, hmm. <laughs> Just a few more moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, very well. I'm not yet drained all all the life force house Princess Zelda. But what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed. Unstoppable! But let me first attend to the pesky worms he will trifle with me. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I will have no more of you interfering with, m with my plans. Let me show you true power. And this people is Vati. Okay, here we have to, first off, you want to, if you want to do, first off, just avoid those flames, okay? Let's put that way first, and then what you want to do is tag the eyeballs around the side of Fatty. Hopefully the uh no, there's so the, the sword beam is working a bit. Once the eyeballs go inside Vati, you want to avoid that third magic sort of circle that's following you. Okay? I'm gonna shoot fire now. When he completely missed. Uh can we beat that eyeball please? There we go, we have. Okay. We beat, we started beating it off screen, so yeah. Once you beat the eyeball, you want to attack Vati's eye that appears. Okay. Sword Beam makes it a lot, a lot of easier for you to beat. I guess. Come on. Oh, he wants you in the body. And I've lost the Sword Beam, great. So, just avoid. What the? And get you in there? Once that there gets you, it just moves like crazy. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, there we go. Attack baby! There we go. 
Alright, once Vati does that there and covers up those eyeballs, you want to get to the, the gust jar. Okay. And just. Oh, jeez. He, he teleports the most random pieces ever, doesn't he? Get out the gust jar and you want to suck out all the magic energy things that's on him. I don't know what it really is called, but whatever it is. And once that dirt go, happens, attack the eyeballs. Okay, that's two down, two to go. The lasers are shooting makes it so much easier to hit them because they're just stopping on, on, on one place and attack Vati. That's good. Okay, get ready for us here again because he's going to do that. And there you go. Oh, come on. Oh, fire, 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 fire. Oh, there we go. Take over to you. Oh, he's, he's moving. Get rid of that. And one more left. Alright. Get rid of that and try to attack him as much as you can. There we go. That's probably the best run I've had those boss for a long, long while. <laughs> well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this. <laughs> Grr. I am filled with a part that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that any... P that, 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 uh, I can't speak today. Do you think that... Do you think that puny sword will save you from me? Alright, so this is Vati's second phase, which I believe is, is, is probably easier than the last stage actually. And so what you want to do is just fire your arrows to those, uh, the, the balls that are, are around, there's no, no, way, no, no really other way to say it. Once you find four red ones, that is when you want to split off into your four. It's pretty easy to get them, actually. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Once you find four of those red things, you want to get charged up and divide yourself into four. That will attack all the four of the red things, and then you can attack Vati himself. Play the fire arrows again. And the red, the red ones will also have different patterns in the world, so don't expect the same pattern. You almost get, you almost get some arrows from the uh, spiky stuff, whatever it is. I don't know. Just avoid his attacks, and it's a very, very easy stage to beat. You know. But the music is very, very good though, I must say. Oh! The problem is, Link's arrows are a little bit slow. Okay, there we go. Now we have to split off again. Okay. Can we just get over the valley, please? Oh, seriously? Oh, 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 why am I fighting? Why am I firing arrows now? Oh, come on. Split off four. Bad League, get out of the way. Go right now. Get yourself into. Okay, that that works too. Tag him. There we go. All right. Now every single time you hit him, you will, he will get faster. Okay, so just be aware of that. I may want to give him some easier spikes here, just to make some room for himself. Come on. Okay, one, two, three, four. Sweet. Okay, now I have to get the. Four ponies already, and one of those spiky stuff. Okay, get out of the body, stay there. Thank you. Attack! Alright. And now you say he's gonna be pretty fast. Okay, I think it's gonna be on the left side now. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Come on. Body, quit moving. Stay in one place. Yeah, Vati can be a bit hard to hit sometimes. There we go, we got we won't, it's only one more to get, and come on. Come on. One, two, three, okay. When you stay up there, Vati, I'll do that, and there we go. Sometimes you'll fire those spiky things on the on the heads, which are a bit annoying. Move, move, just move Vati, please. Vati! Just stay with it. Vati! Stay away from me until I do this here. Ugh. Yeah, body makes this thing so, so annoying sometimes. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, come on. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Ah. He's so hard to hit sometimes, isn't he? One, two, three, four. Right. There we go. 
There we go. Attack, 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 attack. Come on, attack. Alright, still going. Back to arrows in. Okay. Uh, okay, it's all four down here. Come on. Body, quit moving. Okay, I got you now. Happy days. Right. Now to spill off. It's easier said than done today. Body, get away from me. Get away from me, body. Basically, body's all, all, all body will try to do is try to push into the spikes. That's all he's trying to do, so. so yeah, he hasn't made attacks at all, really. One, two, three, four. Right. Good. Please just get it. Fuck. Quit moving, body. Ugh, oh, that's not gonna work. Come on. Oh boy. It's more of an annoyance than anything else this year. This year boss fight isn't really hard or easy. It isn't even hard really, it's just, it's just the noise it is. This body is keeps on moving you about and you can't get to clone yourself. Come on, fatty, move. Right. One, two, three, four. Attack. There we go. Gotcha. There we go, we did it! We did it! What? What is this madness? This is sparked! Oh, okay, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I have the power of a god. I have unstoppable might. How can I lose to a child? We did it. We beat Fatty. It's all finished. You did it! Impressive! Now quickly, we must break the curse of Zelda. Alright, let's go. Okay. So, LDP, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Princess Zelda to, to normal. Let's do it then. Finally. LDP, thank you so much for saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you, as if in a dream. It looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad we made it in time. No! The castle's collapsing! It's too dangerous here! Quickly, we must escape from the castle! Huh? The door's blocked? We have no choice! Head back to the sanctuary! So we now have like a Gammon's Tower escape thing for a long of time, sort of, I guess? It's not hard to do, all you just go downstairs here. Then, don't go right this way. And then. Head down here. But first off, let's just heal up. Because I, I, I've been safe from half a part today. Thankfully, I still have this restock station in here today, so it's nice to have this. It's our, okay, there we go, we're all restocked. Alright, let's go in. Oh, what the? <laughs> you will not escape, boy. Now you will see the true power of the Light Force. For I have become Vati, the master of this world. Well, this is Vati. Okay. So, to beat Vati, you have to use the kill of Patsy first. So we'll just wait, just wait for a bit for a wee bit until he attacks. He has to be just, just to wait for a bit, and once he do this, this attack, and he will make mix on here. You want to try to kill Patsy at it? And that happens. Once that happens, you want to shrink and head in, head inside the hand. And what we're going to do is here is beat one of these here, which. One of these here, yeah, it's one of these here that you have to bait, I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait, that's only a way to find out which way it is, and just to head out really. So it's a little bit of noise it is. It's just, it's padlocks it is. You know, it really is padlocks here, what we have to bait. Unfortunately, I am not having any luck at all here, so I'll try that again. Great. It's just a padlock sort of thing, you have to, you have to beat one of them, and it's really hard to bait to find out what. I don't know which one it is. There's like no sign which one it is or isn't, so it's very, very annoying. 
So let's just try to kill Apache that hand. If we can, there we go. Shrink. Okay, and quickly get into the get into the hand there, please. Or the arm, whatever you want. Get in there, please. Oh yeah, it's the one with the weak small intent in it. It's a little hard to see it is, and I don't think it changes, does it? I'm not sure what's going on the inside is actually. Maybe it, it, it's not, I don't know, please now. Okay, come on, give me a great spin attack. There we go, it's that one. It's like the one with a small intent in its eye. It's a little bit brighter than the other one's like, it's a bit weird. But once we that guy, you can head out, and the hand will the be broken, the hand will be broken off. Link! Please! Please, bro, right. You wanna fire the next hand? Okay, do that. What the? How did that not work? Come on, King Patsy, you feel me now. Alright, what's the other? Let's head back in here and beat this one. And of course, it's gonna be dark here, you have these uh, flame up to see. Well, what is it? Okay, it's that one, it's that one. No, 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 no. Come on. Hey, there we go, got it. Sweet. Now I'll break off that hand, and now we're into the last part of the boss. Alright. You will fire these here four sort of balls here, and. Well, sort of four, not four balls, four eyes in front of them. What you have to do is transform yourself into four, and you have the time. Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to do is fire this here back at them, Sudo. Which is easier said than done, because you have to be right in the exact location, Sudo. So, so, so it is a little annoying, and these here, not, not their attack really does screw you over sometimes. Ah, oh, come on. It's really annoying to hit sometimes, you know, it really is. Okay. Come on. Come on, attack, attack. How did that not work? Bones or something, or? Uh, right, spend the four. Just avoid those electric things. Come on. Oh, electric, electric, electric. Yes, we got him. What's to do that there? Going for a slide. A slash marathon here, and there we go. Rinse and repeat. Alright. Come on. We get the. Oh, get you. Yes, we got him again. Sweet. Attack, 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 attack. Alright. So far, so good. Come on, Link. You can do it. Now you're. Okay, good. Come on. Ah! Oh, it's so annoying. You have to be like pixel perfect in the right spots, you know? It's so annoying. Oh, and I got electrocuted. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's fired out again. Great. It's a little bit annoying to do sometimes, but yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not too bad. Like, come on, but ah, oh, how did that work? Okay, so fire is lagging again. Okay, right, and I'm I'm out of stuff. Great, come on, come on, fire your not fire electric at me, fire your magic thing. There we go. Attack, 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 attack. Yes, gotcha. Attack. And we did it. Fool. I. But the light force. My power. I had such power. Hey, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vati. You did well. But we've lost so much. The castle. All those people. <laughs> What's happened? The curse. Defeating Vati broke the curse he cast upon me? My name is Aslo, Master of Minish Lore and Sorcery. The Mathis Cap was my creation. 
but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for the humans. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen and much of the castle has been destroyed, but it is too soon to give up in to despair. My curse has been broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the light force. Perhaps, together we can do something. If one with a just heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be known. Look! The castle! All the people have been turned to stone! They're all back to normal! Mm hmm. The hat is breaking apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Fally's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle! It looks like the time for us to depart has come. The Minister's door opens once, almost by once in a hundred years, and it will soon close. I must return to my homeland soon. I know I've caused too much suffering, but the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored light to Hyrule. Well, Elder P, my journey with you was exciting to say the least. In fact, I'm more than a little sad that we must part ways now. Please accept this. You know, I've never actually seen you wear it up until now. It's us you, little hero. Take care. Farewell, my friend. And that was the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Quite a very good old game, I'll say. A little bit short, but still, it's a pretty solid Zelda game. Nothing wrong with it. I must say, I did enjoy playing this game. A little bit different than Pokemon Yellow, it definitely was, yes, but it was so fun nonetheless. A lot of rage moments, I guess, in there. You know, there was a couple of uh, moments where I just wanted to go. I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit angry, like recording that finale. Like those dragons screwed me over so much, and I really just had no motivation to record the finale. But the thing was, the thing was, the thing was, the those dragons. I was so excited, and I was so happy to film do it. I just wanted to finish off the game, you know. So I was very happy to beat those dragons, and have enough health to beat the final boss. So yeah. But uh, now I have a bit of artwork from the game, and it does look pretty cool, I must say. I do enjoy this artwork today. Really. Um, yeah. That's Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, not much I almost have to say about it. Uh, I probably will do their Zelda game in the future, not the next of course, but I've actually recorded this LP already, so it's a very short LP. Not, not that many parts at all, it's just for a bit of fun, so it is not too serious. But it does have some sort of, it does have a little bit of significance of what I'm trying to do for the future, so I guess you can sort of see how it Turns out, I'm kind of pleased with how it turned out actually. It was just pretty, it was just nice laid back and having a bit of fun, you know. So yeah. Anyways, I should be talking to the Minish Cap, not the next LP. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just pretty nice game, must admit. Um, 
Actually, I, I, I did have the next memory this game because I got this here game, like, literally I was in hospital so it was for a long while, for two months probably, I'd say. I had very, very bad asthma, and, and literally I just was, like, out of hospital just like a few, like a week or two before my birthday, and I basically got this game for my birthday. So, that's why I, that's why I, I remember this game, so it's, it's just a nice way to get out of the hospital because, like, I was in the hospital for about a month or two, so it was, and I really didn't miss everything, so you know, like, I miss my friends, my, like, my video games, of course, like, I love video games, so I still back then, and I still love them now, and I miss them, so, but yeah, uh, I got the game for my birthday, and I enjoyed it, I just, it's just nice to have something new to play when I got out of the hospital, and I just enjoyed it. Yeah. Thus did Elfface's quest come to an end. But surely, this is not the end of Zelda and Elfface's Adventure of Tyru. The legend will continue. Yes, it will. As long as the power of the light force echoes throughout the ages. There we go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. It's been one press LP, and I'll see you guys in the next LP.